So, a lot of you that are following the channel from day one will know straight away that I love my still brand. Um, I have quite a lot of still stuff and I've never had any trouble with it. I know them kind of inside out. I can take them apart and fix anything on them. But just my preference. Some people like other brands. There's no big deal. It's just still is the one that I really like the most. So this is my 391. Um, I bought this brand new about four years ago. And it's a big saw, plenty of power. I bought it in Dunnigan's in Baileyborough. I buy all my stuff of Dunnigan's. That's where all my stuff comes from. Dunnigan's Garden and Leisure, Baileyborough and County Cavan. But it's a heavy saw. There's got a lot of weight to that saw. So if you were using that all day long, you'd know it was in your hand. That saw would be used about 20% of the time. And when that saw is not in use, everybody knows that I rely on my MS-170. Absolutely love that saw. It's an incredible saw for the price, which is very cheap um, for what you're getting. And I'm telling you, anything up to a foot thick, it will plow through it. Depending, if you've got a big old saw at home and you want to get something light and nice and easy to use, get the 170. You can use it all day long and I'm telling you, you will love it. My 170 I bought in 2013 and I've done a world of work with it. A lot of hedging, a lot of coppicing. I put it through work that it never was supposed to do, but I threaded it in. And it was, you know something, it was as good as the day I bought it. Never gave me any trouble and the engine was sweet, but it, I knew it had done a lot of work and I said I'd go for something fresh. So what did I buy? Another 170. Exactly the same saw, just a brand new one. No difference in it, the one that had. It's not a newer design or anything, it's exactly the same and that's what I love. So if you see here on my 391, these are called dog teeth. Some people call them bumper spikes, it makes no difference. Their purpose is that you can put your saw into the piece of wood, this will stick into the piece of wood and it gives you that leverage to saw downwards. Um, it's like having a tour de arm. It helps you so much when you're cutting. My Wii 170X does not have that. It's not designed to cut the same kind of stuff that the 391 would be cutting, but you have a plastic version here that does work-ish. You miss them teeth um, being steel, to be honest with you. So, I went out and I picked up a set of teeth for it. It's a big box, so it's a small item. All this simply does is take off your chain and put this into its place, like that, and that gives you your grip instead of the plastic, which you can wear down. It's a simple little upgrade for any saw, very cheap, make a huge difference. So there you go, now you see the difference. You see them teeth are right there now and that's gonna, that comes out well past the plastic. Quite simple to put on, very simple to put on, or very cheap to buy, and a huge upgrade to any we saw. Doesn't matter what make or model of saw you have, most of the time you'd be fit to get one of those. Go on eBay or somewhere like that, just look up the model and I guarantee you, 90% of the time you'll find one. <laughs>
Now you see what I'm talking about. That's about 12 inches, that stuff. So that's actually part of the monkey puzzle um, tree that we had. So it wouldn't be the easiest to cut through. Um, we did actually give a lot of it to a fella um, who's making, I don't know what he's actually making, but he said he was going to make stuff out of it. I realized it was actually good stuff for making furniture and different things out of. So another thing you might notice is I got myself a pair of chainsaw trousers and a pair of chainsaw gloves. A lot of you were giving out to me that I should be wearing chainsaw trousers. It's something that I never really thought of in the past, but I do do a lot of chainsaw and, and you know, probably is best to show it done right. Um, so I said I'd go out and I'd get a pair of trousers and I contacted the lads and Dunnigans. Um, I have to say, they're nice and light, nice and comfortable. They're not heavy in any shape or form. Thankfully, I've never had any accidents with a chainsaw or ever came close to having an accident with a chainsaw, but you never know. Also notice this, the smart holder. I have that 10 over 10 years um it's great yeah you see it there it's quite simple and uh, it probably needs i need to sharpen the teeth on it a wee bit of a bend on it too it's been through the ringer <laughs> i've put a lot of sticks through that little thing and when you cut your first sticks it weighs it down because it sits in kind of on top of it and that kind of holds it down and um, you could get a couple of pegs to hold it down but it's normally quite stable i throw it in the box of the tractor and i bring it out into the field and we used to have one we met a timber but it was awkward because you need that second person because i'm more or less doing a lot of this work on my own. That is so handy. So it's time to put this on the back of the Massey. I'm really looking forward to this. I can chop it into some wood. Let's put on the tipsy bin. We're going to sit it here beside it so I can just cut the sticks and just throw them straight into the tipsy bin um, and then just drop them at the back door of the house. And that's going to make things so easy. Just chop, throw in, one handling, done.
stop for a few minutes just to chat and see how it's going. I think you can see yourselves that it is a phenomenal bit of kit. I am so happy with it. It's just a pleasure to use. I never used a log splitter in my entire life before and I thought it was going to be extremely slow. That tractor is just taken over. Just taken over, not a single bit of rev on it. Plenty of pressure, it'll split anything you ever have to split. Do you see the speed that I'm working at? That bin nearly half full in about hot and cold, about 15, less than 15 minutes, 10 minutes, but 10 minutes. I always knew it was going to be good because everybody brags on about Carl's log splitters and now I know why. For those of you that probably have log splitters, no matter what brand it is, you probably understand what I mean. There's something very therapeutic, is that the word? The log splitting, even the dogs are panned out, they're enjoying watching me doing it. But there is, there's something just very relaxing but just splitting away straight into the bin it's so so easy happy days happy days really happy i know we have big ignorant bits here but i have a brother of mine that's going to come up and he's going to give me a lift with them probably tomorrow i'm going to throw them underneath it it'll devour them too there's definitely no reason why it wouldn't um we'd never be cutting timber just as big as that normally we have a big table we can slide it in underneath and it'll split them no bother. They're actually very easy to split even with an axe. So this here will have no problem. You can see there there's knots and everything through that and it just simply devours them. To put it mildly, a job I used to absolutely despise is now probably one of my most favorite jobs. 25 minutes worth of work. We have a huge hole made here on our sticks. Split from the table, straight into the tipsy bin. I assumed the tipsy bin mightn't hold an awful lot. The hole we have made here and the amount of sticks we've put into that is unbelievable. And now I can pick it up and just drop it at the back door of my house, which I'm about to do now. I notice there's no marks really on this. That's that polymer bearing that's in there. You'll not see that really on any other log splitter. Now it keeps that whole thing clean and you don't have any grease or any muck or anything building up on that. After the first time I showed this log splitter when I got it, some people mentioned in the comment that they found this is going to be awkward and they found that they were going to do different things to it to perhaps make it work with one hand and completely do away with the safety safety of it. That's crazy talk. Let me tell you now, it's completely crazy talk. That is great. My father's just after leaving me here now and he said the same. You don't need to hold the piece of timber with your hand. Cut the timber straight and put it down. That will cut anything. Your hands then are completely away from that blade. That is brilliant. Now there is another one you get that has the lever on the side. And I will say to you now, in real honesty, if you can afford the little bit extra, get that. That is worth its weight in gold. Just to be able to tip it up and it's already lifting while you're getting the next log in place speeds the thing up incredibly. It's so handy. So yes, my honest opinion, get that. If you can add it to the pot, get that honest. Right, let's get this down, Nicole. What do you think? Um, the pin, the hole goes to this side, Nicole, for the pin. The whole side, so it goes this side. Ah, if you want to add it, you were mad to get putting the lid on, so I'll let you add it. <laughs> it's straightforward, yeah. Fire up on top of it, and I'll give you a hand, yeah. yeah. There we go. It's not heavy. So you have to hook your side in first. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. Here we are. That's it. And I get the pin, uh, pins here in my pocket. Oh, there's a bit of tim bit of sticks hitting it or something, is there? Yeah. Which one's hitting it? Oh, no, it's the one in the middle. That's the one there, just, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. After seeing that, tell me that is not handy. This sits in lovely and neat beside our two coal bunkers. Well, this coal bunker, this is the one we're using for sticks at the minute. It doesn't hold very much. And you can see she can't get at the ones in the bottom. That's why there's a few left in the bottom. But it holds very little and it's quite an awkward thing as well. And she can't reach into the bottom of it. There'll be no problem with this. Anytime there's a dry day, I leave the lid off it like that there and let them dry out. 
um, the lid. My wife was just saying about the green lid. She's not hectic on the green lid being at the back of the house, our home house, because the rest of our stuff is all black. So we just rang Michael there and was speaking to him on the phone and he's actually doing deliveries in our area today and he has black lids. If, so if you're thinking about getting one of these and putting it at the back of your house and you want a black lid, which I wasn't pushed and I actually liked the green, but my wife said no, she wants black. And he said, no problem, I actually have one here. I'll take your green lid with me and I'll replace it for a black one. So that's what we've done. How's it going, girls? Keeping his fit. He's been nice and warm after he's just done. So that's my workers. Just unloading the last bucket of sticks in my mother and father. The day is done, it's half past four, it's starting to snow and I'm getting ready for milking now shortly. I'll put a link in the description to all the stuff you see in the day, not to buy them, just so you can go online and check them for yourself. I'll put a link to Carl's Engineering, you can ring them and have a chat if you want to get a log spare made for yourself. They do kindling and stuff and all, loads of other machinery too, so it's worth checking them out. The steel chainsaws, I buy them all of Dunnigan's. I've done so for the past 20 to 25 years and I wouldn't ever dream of going anywhere else. So if you want to check out their website, it's there as well. I hope I covered everything. None of this stuff you see today is sponsored in any shape or form. These are the people that I've done business with because I like the product that they have and I wanted one for myself. Loads and loads are going to be happening now in the next couple of days and a couple of weeks because we're getting into a busy time. Calvin is halfway there. I think our calf, we had calf this morning, hit us on halfway, so we're halfway through it. Yes, so when the last cow calves, there's always a celebration in our house. And it's usually, we used to go to the pub and have a good hour lash. Can't do that probably the year, but we'll make up something and certainly it'll be good crack because it's a great time when it's all over. Farmers understand exactly what I'm talking about. Merch, soon coming. Just around the corner, I'm going to make a big announcement on Instagram on the date and everything. So keep your ears peeled for that. I'll give you an update on one of our YouTube videos as well. So don't worry about it if you're not on Instagram. You'll find out soon enough. So that's it for today's video. If you're not subscribed and you want to see more, hit that sub button. Give us a like, leave a comment down below. We all love to get them. We share them between everybody. Everybody can pick up little tips here and there. It's always worthwhile. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram and on TikTok. Until the next one, folks, we'll talk to you again.